This is video 37 on MicroPython and LVGL9 on an ESP32 platform. In this video, we look at developing LVGL9 programs for the ESP32 USB board. Please let us know in the comments if you like this example or let us know if you have suggestions to improve it. For this effort, we build two test rigs. The first is ESP32 generic USB board mounted in a baseboard and wired to an ILI9341 display. And the second is an integrated ESP32 chip and ILI9341 display, also known as the cheap yellow display and abbreviated as CYD. Both rigs use the same ESP32 chip, but we want to keep the description simple. So throughout this video, we will refer to the first board as ESP32 and the second board as CYD. As this channel covers multiple small system solutions over time, please subscribe to stay informed and click like as that really helps. Our goal for this effort is to learn the wiring and setup for these ESP32 generic USB boards we will perform four tasks. We will discuss the wiring between the board and the ILI9341 display. We will discuss the firmware. We will discuss the drivers. And we will demonstrate the functionality with a simple program. In a microcontroller, the SPI pins are used for fast communication to displays. Since there are are a limited number of SPI ports. Typically, the display and touch devices share an SPI port. However, the CYD device used its own different ports for, for each device. And so we will wire the ESP32 device the same way. The CYD device is wired and we will handle the backlight pin in the driver. I have two slides to help you understand the wiring to the ILI9341 display. Notice the touch IRQ pin is not wired. On this side, notice that we wired the display's LED pin directly to 3.3 volts. For the CYD, this pin is controlled in the program, which we will see in a minute. Let's talk about the firmware. At my GitHub site, you can download a specific firmware that contains both MicroPython and LVGL. For these boards, it must be the one shown here. While you are there, go to the video directory and download the video 37 files for whichever board you are using. If you are using Thony, it makes it easy to download the driver files to the flash. By the way, the banner implies the version is 1.20. You can verify the actual version using the code shown. Let's open the display driver on the CYD device and look at the backlight code and the pin numbers. So I'm showing the display driver file and I'm, now I'm going to scroll down. And the first thing we want to notice is that for the CYD device, pin number 21 must be configured for the backlight. And you notice that when the driver runs, it's going to automatically turn the backlight on. Notice that we have pin numbers for the SPI port. Notice also that SPI for the display is different from the touch display. Normally, these would be the same, but on the CYD device, they're hardwired this way. So you must configure the device, the SPI device, with these pin numbers. The next thing you need to worry about is the display object. Here, for the display object, we can take the default and we use DC is 2, the CS is 15, and notice the, the reset is also 15. So that's important. Finally, 
on the touch, the CS pin is 33. Now for the ESP32 device, you would make the pin changes as we discussed on the previous slides. Okay, let's open the test button to display from the desktop directory into Thony. This is a very simple program to display a button. I've already clicked the green run icon to execute the program. On the CYD device, the backlight was turned on and a button is displayed in the center. If you press the button with a stylus, then a message is printed in the shell of Thony. Let's do that. Okay, the program is counting from uh, starting from one, and every time you press the button, it will increment by one. Okay, it's a very simple program, but it, it verifies that all the features of the device are functioning correctly. In summary, in summary, in this video, we discussed the two test rigs. We discussed the wiring for the ESP32, and of course the CYD device is, is pre-wired. We discussed the firmware in the video 37 files on the GitHub site, and we reviewed the program code for the display driver and for the example button display program. Now you should be able to program any ESP32 generic device. A copy of the GitHub link is included in the description for this video, as well as in the acknowledgments. I hope this video helps you with your LVGL MicroPython coding. Thank you for listening.